Right, the PC police now going after the actual police for the way they're describing suspects. Chances are you've heard officers say they're looking for a guy or a girl who may be black or could be white. But a new law in New York City would ban them from stopping suspects based on descriptions alone. How would that disturb the job and make the job harder for detectives like Rod Wheeler? He's a former detective and joining us this morning. Rod, descriptors like, for example, you can't say white male running away with somebody's purse black male running the other way with somebody's car? Nope, that's right. You can't do it according to this law. They call it the Community Safety Act in the city of New York. And actually, I think it does everything but keeps the community safe. And I can tell you, Brian, a lot of police departments as well as a lot of community groups oppose this crazy law. I mean, it's really ridiculous. Look, here's the thing real quick so the viewers understand. Apparently, in some precincts in the city of New York, they have an issue with some renegade cops maybe over overstepping their boundaries, if you will, in terms of stopping suspects. So we get that. But there's ways to deal with that, and the way not to deal with that is by not handicapping the entire police force, right. you know, restricting them from making stops that, that are good stops. So you can't say uh, there's a cross-dressing pickpocket uh, in Times Square, go get her or him. You cannot say things like that. You can't say anything about race. You can't say anything about color. Uh, you can't talk about uh, religion, ethnicity. Right. So how right. do you describe... A human being is running away with my wallet? You know what? It, it sounds ridiculous because it is ridiculous. You know, you can say the person was a male. You can say that the suspect was a female. If the person even walks with a limp, um, Brian, you cannot say that physical attribute about that individual because that could be considered profiling. It's, it has to be one of the most ridiculous laws I've ever heard of. So where, what kind of power does a police force like the NYPD have in a situation like this when politicians try to be politically correct? You know what? Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of power. Now, the police officers, even in the city of New York, they do a tremendous job. Are there issues? Are there problems? Yes, there are all across the country, not just in the city of New York. But again, there's ways that we internally can deal with those issues. But you don't handicap, right. you don't handcuff the police officers with a law that's as bar barbaric as I've ever seen. Rod, a lot of there's a big debate here about stop and frisk. Commissioner Kelly says it's keeping people alive. I see some parents around here, African-American parents, say the same thing. Others are outraged, say it's profiling. Where do you stand? Well, I can tell you this. Look at the statistics, okay? Look at the data. The data is clear that the city of New York, as well as all metropolitan areas across this country, the, the crime rate has dropped significantly. And it's not only because of the community being involved, but it's because of police officers, I think, doing a more, a better professional job. So I think overall, we're doing a great job. Are there problems? Like I said, Brian, yes, there are. But again, this kind of law takes us a step back, and it's not a law that's good for the betterment of all people. And it was good as one male to talk to another male about things uh, in a generic way. I appreciate, Detective Wheeler, you joining us today. Sure. Thank you, Brian. All right.